The Space Resources Challenge is one of several activities we run from ESRIC. We're really excited to be carrying out this field trial in the Lunar facility. It's an excellent way to test technology that might one day be used on the Moon. We will give a challenge, mainly a problem to solve, to the community. The community answer with a proposal. Few of them, they are, they are in Luna with their prototype to test the solution. And only if they meet all those criteria in a proper way, and if they are performing best, they get a contract. This year we have two prizes. So the first prize is uh, the ESA prize that will reward the best performing team overall among the four evaluation criteria. And then we have a second prize awarded by the Luxembourg Space Agency and ESRIC that will reward the best beneficiation technology. This year's challenges focuses on mining and excavation. So our mission scenario is to sustain eight astronauts for a 30 days mission in oxygen. In order to do so, the teams need to collect, pre-processing the regolith and deliver five kilos within a specific size range. So we're trying to simulate the lunar surface with the different characteristics that the astronauts will meet, that robots will meet, so that we can test, verify and train the personnel that eventually fly the missions to the moon. give them a test field where they have to move in a different setting, a difficult setting of light and shadow, similar to what we experience at the lunar poles, where we have some rocks, where we have some dips. We are trying to create a little bit of a crater as well. Those other teams have a challenge to go um, into, a, into a potential permanently shadowed crater that has different resources available. drive over, when you walk over, when you handle it, it creates dust that you literally see in the, in the air here. And that is a problem on the moon because the dust can go into rover systems, into seals, into mechanisms and block them. It's a massive, massive challenge that we won't fully understand until we find ourselves back on the moon's surface in the near future. Something that we always experience is network setup and the connection to the rover is something that is challenging. So this, this is, I think, one of the biggest challenges that we typically experience, the communication between the control room and the actual assets on the surface. I think the teams did a good job of communicating because um, they had five people in the control room. So they were some team, we saw a lot of teams like splitting the tasks between them and still being able to report back to each other. Today we see academia engaging in the challenge and we may see some of the members of these teams creating startups in future and creating services and products which play a critical role in the value chain of space resources utilization. And that's in the end our goal. Luna is already here for the community. The idea is that we have a facility and we want to make best use of it. So we are collecting research ideas, testing ideas from different entities to see how we can properly use Luna. And we want to make Luna one of the most important test places for lunar surface preparation in the future.
It was amazing to be here on site. It, it felt very real to like the lunar experience. You're watching through cameras and everything's in black and white. Uh, our team had some some issues on site, and that's I mean to be expected. The challenge itself is uh, is difficult because it's. Um we, you have to build equipment for based on, on requirements. So we, we were not stressed about that because we, we went here and said, okay, whatever happens, happens. We do it as a team. Even in, in the parts where we needed to, to troubleshoot problems, um, it was really nice having this remote operation center and this realistic scenario because it actually felt like you were doing the real mission. So I was very excited to see the whole system work and that we were running smoothly. Looking back now, I'm, I'm happy of what we achieved. We had specialists from different teams, different organizations, and we worked very well together. So I'm, I'm very happy how, how our team performed. We learned a lot from this challenge. We, I, I myself learned a lot working with young people. I'd like to thank my team and it would be uh, impossible without the incredible dedication of the students. We're just really thankful that we get to participate in the ESA Space Resources Challenge. Mm -hmm.